بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد Allah had given anybody tawfiq to witness the month of Ramadan, the rest of the months they need to check, evaluate ourselves, if these amal that was done, they was perpetuated, the sign of tawfiq is, and qabuliyat is one continues doing that amal afterwards, and that's a sign of tarbiyah. They say there was once a king, and he told his courtiers and his ministers that I've got a great skill. Amongst my skills are I've trained my cats to balance candles. We can have a romantic dinner as well. So the king was very proud and they were very amazed. One minister said, can I put them to the test? So the king said, sure, no problem. So the banquet was prepared, the cats were brought, they balanced the candles while they were lit. And as the minister came in, in his bag, he had a rat. And when the rat was let loose, so did the cats go wild. So they failed the test. So when guna, when ma'asyat, when disobedience is in front of a person, a person need to be checking themselves, am I attracted to it or is my tarbiyat made or not? Is my taluk with Allah so strong that I'm more attracted to Allah and His Rasul than I'm attracted to ma'asyat and disobedience? Inna Allah yuhibbu tawabin wa yuhibbu al-mutatahirin the sign that somebody is beloved in the eyes of Allah is they are given tawfiq to make tawbah, to repent, to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya ayyuha al-ladheena amanu, tubu ila Allahi tawbatan nasuha. Allah is addressing the people of Iman, O oh my beloved servants, turn to Allah, just turn in alone, tawbatan nasuha. Make sincere tawbah. What is this nasuha? Suhail al hasanani tawbah an nasu. He was asked, What is this sincere tawbah? He said, Hiya nadamun bil qalm. That to have regret in the heart. Wa istighfarun bil lisan. And on your tongue to be moist. Your tongue to be moist. What is istighfar? Wa tazkiyatul jawarih. And your organs follow the regret in your heart outwardly. Your actions display Allah Ya'ud that you're not going to go back to that sin. That's a sign that this is a sincere tawbah. In the hadith of Ibn Ubay bin Kaab, an nasu an nadm ala dham hinna yafrut minka. That when you do something over the limits, you exceed, you break the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, فتستغفر, you make tawbah, ثم تعود إليه أبدا, and you make a niyat, that you will never return to that ma'asyat, to that sin, ever. Another reward, a ta'ib habibullah, a person who is making this tawbah, Ya ayyuhan nas anibu ila rabbikum. Turn to Allah. When you make this tawbah, then Habibullah, you become the beloved Allah. So a person needs to be che checking themselves. Another riwayat, inna Allah yuhibbu shab at taib. Allah specifically gives his attention and loves a youngster, a youth who turns to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, when a person is a shabab shu'batun min al junoon, when a person is in that madness, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves it because he's got more attractions, he's got more ambition when he's young, he's got more energy, and a person is chan channeling his potential and his energy to his khaliq, not to his to makhluk, to obedience, not to disobedience, to follow the life of Janabi Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, not the life and the way of life of batil, to repent to Allah and to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to be connected to the Khaliq. 
So this is our criteria. We need to be checking ourselves all the time. A youngster who's tempted in a situation and he tries to find a little, a certain girl that he sees and eventually he gets a number and eventually he sends a message. But when he sends the message, how much work was before that finding her number eh, or searching for her on Facebook or finding a profile, how much work goes into it? Then the work of what message should I send her? Or how should I break it to her? How do I entice her? Let's say he does that and he gets it right and she replies and the reply is in a positive and he carries on saying the right words and doing the right things that he gets her eventually, whether it's one, two, three, six months down the line, and he gets her in a position where she compromises her chastity. And when that is done, then she tells him that you are not good as my older ex. You are not good enough. So dunya is a docker, it's a deception. All these platforms that are out there, Dajjal in Arabic means deception, Doka. These entire platforms that are out there are Doka. It will trap a person that he doesn't even know that he is committing a sin, committing a Guda. And that's what Dajjal will do. His platforms are the platforms of dis deception. When a person takes a picture, they Photoshop the picture. When they pick, take a picture of a car or something else, it's somebody else's. But they lying, they showing a deception. When he puts up his selfie, it is fake. It's a deception. It's like the Dajjal will put an image in front of mankind that people will love it. They'll want to give Dajjal likes. I should not be caught in the trap of the trap of likes thumbs up, comments, what people are going to say, how much more followers I'm going to have. But we need to come to reality and we need to come to the hakikat that all these alats are to our destruction. So when we make Toba, we need to stay far away from it because like a whirlpool, when a sailor at sea, the captains, the worst thing that they fear is a whirlpool. And they know when you get close at a certain point, then you have to wait for death. Then your uh, skills of being a sailor and a captain at sea cannot help you. Once you get at that one point of no return, then you're gone. It's almost impossible to get out of that whirlpool. So we have to be careful, we have to stay far away from all of this here. Allah Ya'ud, make an intention. Ya Allah, protect me from all of these devices and instruments that will take me far away from you and his Rasul. Is there a time will come where the priest will be performing the marriage in front of him in the entire church, there won't be a single soul. It will be only him, two laptops in front of him. One has the wife and one the husband, future. And the audience are streaming online. They're watching the performance online. And when he finishes the ceremony, he'll say, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now update your status. Because that's what it's all about today. The status and what am I going to show to the world? So we need to be very careful. We need to be so careful once there was a blind man carrying a lamp. So people laughed at him. They said, you're blind and you still have a lamp. He said, the lamp is not for me, it's for you. If you don't see me, you'll knock me and harm me. The lamp is for you to see. So we have to be very careful who our family are, who our friends are, who we associate, which person we need to be close to that they will take us to Allah and who we need to keep our distance from that will take us to Jahannam. We have to be very particular. Some, sometimes a person says, okay, I'll get involved and I'll make Tawbah. No, the fact that we're getting involved is that we're not making Tawbah. So we have to be very particular. They say a person who's on Twitter, it makes him think he's very wise. If you're on Facebook, it'll make you think you have a lot of friends. If you're on Instagram, you will think that you're an expert photographer. If 
you on YouTube, you will think, yo, you are very good presenter. They say, the wake up will be tough. The wake up will be tough. Because it's all a fallacy. It's a fake world. Somebody bought a cake. So they went to a supermarket, they went to a restaurant, they went to a place that specializes in cakes. From the bakery, they bought the best cake. Now he brings the cake home and he's eating the cake. So he goes onto Facebook and he puts the post, I like eating cake. Then he puts a message, a tweet. So on Facebook, he had the picture of the cake with I like eating cake. On Twitter, a message, I am eating cake. On YouTube, this is how you eat a cake. On LinkedIn, this is the skills I have of eating a cake. Instagram, this is a picture of my cake. On Pinterest, this is a recipe of a cake. The cake I'm eating, this is the recipe. On Foursquare, this is where I'm eating the cake. On Tinder, this is the cake that you should be eating. So I am available. One deception over another deception over another deception. When will the reality come? We need to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لَلَّا أَفْرَهُ بِتَوْبَةِ عَبْدِهِ مِنَ الْأَقِيمِ الوالد Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gets more elated, more happy than a woman that is sterile, she's barren, she cannot get children, and she's given the news that you are infertile, we cannot understand it, but you are pregnant now. Can you imagine the happiness of that mother for so many years, she thought so, she was sterile, and now she's given the news, she's pregnant. Allah gets more happy than that. وَمِنَ الضَّالِ الْوَاجِدِ Somebody is lost in a desert, they are lost and stranded in some wasteland, they are disorientated, they are, have lost hope, they are getting ready to die. And then the rescue team, the search team, find them. He's, he's put his head on the ground, ready to die. And he sees the search team, how happy does he get? He hears the sound of the helicopter, how happy does he get? Allah gets more happy than that. وَمِنَ الظَّمْآنِ Al-Warid, a person is dehydrated, he's thirsty, he's dying of thirst, and in front of him, he just finds an oasis of water. He's been thirsty for so many days and he sees an oasis of water. How happy he's getting. Allah Jalla Jalaluhu gets more happy than that. He said when Adam salam made Tawbah, then his question was, what? What's after this, Ya Allah? Allah said, don't worry about your progeny. You make so much sacrifice for the progenies after you, it will be more easy. And for the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it's even more easier. Ya Adam, what is that dhurriyatuka at and nasab? And although they will go through difficulties and hardships, but remember, I've given them the inheritance of Tawbah. Means this is Darul Imtihan, it is a place of test. But there is a door of Tawbah. Mandani minhum bidawatika. Whoever cries and makes Tawbah like how you made Tawbah. Labaytuhu katal biyatuk. Like how you cried to me. I was there and I said, Labayk Adam, I'm here. I will tell them also I'm here for you. No matter what guna they commit. Ya Adam, ahshuru ta'ibina min al quburi mustabshirina. I will resurrect those people who die with making tawbah and repenting to Allah from their covers. Happy, they'll be smiling and laughing. And in this world, mustajab. I will even make them amongst the mustajabu dawat. The du'as will be accepted. So we need to haste, we need to turn. We need to run to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu. 
O people of Iman, Allah is saying in different ayat, that turn to Allah, return to Allah, find your Allah, kufiru ilallah, rush to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ma gharraka bi rabbika al-kareem. What deception, what dhoka, what jadu, what black magic has deceived you of this great Allah. Alladhi khalaqaka, fasawwaka, fa'adalaka, fi ayi suratim ma sha'a rakabak. Just go look in the mirror, see how Allah made you perfect like that. I've made a perfect Jannah for you. Strive for the Jannah and forget Jannah. I am that Allah that created you. Turn to me, turn to your Allah before it's too late. Tubu ilallahi jamia. Return to your Allah before your destruction. Let us make an intention. Allah has given us life. Allah has given us opportunities. There's so much written outside. Let us declare war. What the mahal, the environment, shaitan, nafs, and turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Is it Aisha radiallahu once told Nabi alayhi salam Imam Ghazali, Qurtubi, Suyuti, etc. I've mentioned this in their kitabs. Inna shuhada ummati idhan la qalilun. That a person who passes away in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he's a shaheed, so there'll be few shuhada. So he told, O kama qal, man qala fi yawmin khamsata wa ishreena marrah, 25 times in a day, Allahumma barik li fi al maut wa fi ma ba'd al maut. If a person reads his dua, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wal thumma ma ta'ala firashi a'ta'u Allah ajra shaheed. Give him the reward of a shaheed. Ulama explain when we're making this dua also, we should intend and in our hearts think, Ya Allah, let me die on the last 10 nights of Ramadan on the day of Jum'ah. And the dua of Umar radiallahu anhu, Allahumma rzuqna shahadatan fi sabilik, while I'm in your path, waj'al mawtana bi baladi rasulik, in Madina Munawara or Makkah Mukarrama, while I'm in salat in the haramain, on the day of Jum'ah, on the last 10 nights of Ramadan. The Amal which we've been discussing previously is making istighfar. We should be in a habit of making istighfar and toba at least 100 times a day. Keep our tongues moist with the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Amal for today was reading Surah Baqarah that will keep the shayateen out of the houses. اِقْرَأُوا الْقُرْآنِ فَإِنَّهُ يَأْتِي يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ شَفِيعًا لِأَسْحَابِهِ Make the recitation of the Qur'an a habit in your homes. اِقْرَأُوا الزَّهْرَوَيْنِ Read often the two lights, the two flowers. Imam Nawawi says, why are they called that? لِنُورِهِمَا وَهِدَايَتِهِمَا Because these two surahs are filled with nur and they filled with hidayah. Which two surahs? Al-Baqarah وسورت آل إمران فإنهما يأتيان يوم القيامة and they will come on the day of قيامة كأنهما غمامتان like two clouds محدثين explain like how clouds overshadow an entire area a person will have so much reward in أعمال that the أعمال will be so much it will cover him تهاجان أن حسابهما and they will fight for this person who makes a habit of reading them. Iqra'u, then specifically, Iqra'u Surah Al-Baqarah. Make it a habit of reading Surah Baqarah. فَإِنَّ أَخْذَهَا بَرَكَةً Because it is full with baraka. وَتَرْكَهَا حَسْرَةً And leaving it will give you a lot of remorse and regret. وَلَا تَسْتَتِيعُهَا الْبَطَلَةً أَيْ أَسَّهَرَةً And a person who has a habit of reading this won't be affected. By black magic and jadu akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.